Okay, family, here is my, my, my fufu. This is my version of homemade fufu, okay? There's the plant and flower that I use, guys, all right? And I made this from scratch, and I think I did a pretty good job. Drop me some comments on that, guys, please. Fufu is similar to cuckoo, which is from the Caribbean. Fufu is similar to ugali, which comes from Kenya. Fufu is similar to pap, which comes from South Africa, Johannesburg. So guys, drop me some comments, guys. How did this American woman do making this fufu? Drop me some comments. And look at my veggies right there. That sauteed mushrooms and spinach and carrots. Well, welcome back, family. Welcome back. Today I'm going to make some vegetables. Just going to steam some vegetables here. I'm starting off with my, uh, this is mushroom and some onions. Starting off with that. Back here I have some black beans, just a little black beans cooking. And in the front burner here, I have some fufu, okay? Now, I want you to compare fufu to ugali. I want you to compare fufu to pop. I want you to compare this fufu to kuku, okay? Now, this is my version. This is how I make fufu, all right? Here's the fufu mix, all right, guys? Here is the fufu mix. You see it? That's what I'm making. It's a powder form, all right? And that's plantain fufu. In the, with the plantain fufu, I've got coconut milk, all right? Remember, uh, I've been telling you guys that uh, people from the Caribbean, we use a lot of, we use a lot of coconut milk, you know, in our dishes. So many different things we prepare, so many different things we cook has coconut milk in it. I'm gonna put that back burner on medium. Doesn't take that long. I set my timer on 20 minutes. You guys know I like cooking with a timer. Welcome back, family. Welcome back. Today we're making some, we're sauteing some vegetables. I started with the mushrooms and some onions, okay? Sauteing that. I use some palm oil, all right? I'm, I'm sure a lot of you recognize palm oil, all right? That's the red palm oil. I'm gonna add some knorr, chicken bouillon. This is the powder. I'm going to add that to my veggies. It doesn't need much because I just I don't want my veggies to be too salty. So not much. Started with the mushrooms. I'm going to add in some carrots to that. I'll do half a bag. This is just shredded carrot. That's all that is, guys. Take a little water. All right, while my veggies are steaming. So, so far what I have in there is mushrooms and carrots. Just doing a little steam there. A saute with onions and a little chicken knorr, chicken bouillon, the powder. That's what's in this pot. That's the veggies that's going to go along with my food. All right, back here I've got the black beans. All right, cooking. Less than 20 minutes. All of this should be done. It's just black beans with a little 
just light seasoning back there. Just light seasoning on the black beans. Don't need much. Okay. So over here I have the fufu. This is the fufu mix. Uh, it's fufu, the plantain fufu. It's coconut milk. It's water. And let me add some garlic salt. Okay. Remember the garlic salt that I used the other day, guys? Well, it was pretty cheap. I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to have to do with that because it, it, it basically didn't have any flavor at all. So this is garlic salt. So I know a lot of you don't add salt of any kind to your fufu or your ugali or your pop, but I like a little garlic salt in there and I like to make mine with coconut milk. And that's because when I cook kuku, I'm going to drop a picture of the, of the kuku that I make, which is Caribbean. I'm going to drop a picture right here that you can see cuckoo and um, we can do a comparison. That's what today's video is about. We're comparing fufu with ugali, with pap and cuckoo. We're comparing it to cuckoo. All I did, I just used my... I like this brand of fufu a lot. That's the... the I've tried others, you know, I've tried like the green banana fufu. I didn't like that. This is the one that I like, so this is the one I'm sticking to. So because those carrots are shredded, all right, it does not take long to cook. Doesn't take long, and this is a very powerful stove. All right, this is spinach, okay? See how much I'm going to use of this. We will see. That's pre-washed spinach. It's already been washed. Okay. drop me a comment what veggies do you like to cook with your fufu drop me a comment on that I like spinach I like carrots I like mushrooms so when I'm preparing something like fufu I'm gonna have that to the side I'm gonna add a little chipotle this is chipotle chili pepper just a little heat to that Just give that a little taste test. That is good enough, I think. Let me add just a little bit more of, I think I'm just gonna add a tad more of the chicken bouillon, just a tad. Just like that much, that's it. Add a little bit more water to it. And that's basically the vegetables that I'm going to have on the side of my fufu. All right, so that's done. I'm going to put that on a cold burner. Again, that is this is the fufu that I used. And you can use any, uh, if you like, any can of coconut milk. All right, so back there again, I have my beans. Beans are doing nicely back there. All right, so now I'm working on my fufu.
time. Do you guys see it? Can you see the fufu, guys? Let me know. Let me make sure you see it. This is the fufu. All right. This is the fufu that I'm making. So I, uh, this is this is how I started. Okay. I started with cold, you know, coconut milk. I make sure that it's blended together like this before I turn on my burner. That's that's my trick in making fufu. Okay. Now, um, now remember, I'm not a native to fufu. Okay. I'm just doing my best because I love the taste of fufu. Okay. But let me know. When you prepare your fufu or your ugali or your kuku or your pak, is it similar to how I'm cooking this fufu right now? Is it similar? It doesn't take long. My timer's down to 11 minutes, okay? Doesn't take long. It doesn't take long for this to firm up, okay? Now I know people from Ghana, when they make their fufu, it's on the soft side, okay? definitely on the soft side. For me, when I make my fufu, I like it firmer, just a little firmer. So you'll notice the difference in texture of my fufu. But I've seen people from Ghana with this particular brand of fufu. I've seen that. So, as you guys know, the, for all of you that have uh, cooked fufu before, if you cook pap before, ugali, if you cook that before, it's a constant stirring. All right, so that's exactly what I'm doing right now, constant stirring. starting to thicken already guys it is I reduce my heat because I don't want it to scorch you know I don't want it to stick to the bottom of my pan all right so let me show you this is my uh, veggies guys make sure you see that See, that's the veggies. How you like that? Doesn't that look delicious? It is. Old sauteed vegetables there for you guys. Drop me a comment, guys. What are you guys, what are you cooking today? What's on your menu? Do you like cooking or is it, is it no? Is it a thumbs down for cooking? Or do you like cook, cooking? Okay, let me know. I like cooking. I don't like cooking every day. So I do my best not to cook every day. I'm just trying to make it as smooth as I can. I think I'm gonna turn off. I'm gonna turn off the black beans now. And I'm gonna put that to a cold burner. So the veggies are done, black beans are done. And I'm nursing the and I'm nursing the um the fufu as as we're as we're going through this video right now i am nursing the fufu and you guys you know i like to clean and cook at the same time it's smelling real good in here guys you should be i wish you guys could smell this it's smelling really good in here you know Real, real good. All right, 
as you guys can see, it is thickening. Got my heat on medium right now as this thickens. So, okay guys, so it is thickening as I speak to you. By the minute, it is getting thicker and thicker. So, the key is to keep on turning. So this is actually two cups of fufu. That's what I use. Two cups of that plantain fufu there. I use two cups of fufu. So it makes up, it makes just what I need. So I'll have, you know, have enough fufu for at least two days for my family. How do you like that, guys? Let me show you. See that? There's the fufu. How do you like it? All right, let me know. How... How is this American woman doing with this fufu? Drop me some comments, guys. Drop me some comments. How is this American woman doing making this fufu? I would like to know. Okay, guys, drop me some comments, guys. I hope you like the content. If you do, press that like button. If you have not joined the family, please press that subscribe button. Please share my video. Sharing is caring, guys. Okay, if I'm doing a good job with this fufu, drop me some comments. Show me some love, please. Because I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good about how this is coming out. Remember, I'm an African American, born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. But this fufu is looking pretty good, if I say so myself, guys. Okay, family, here is my, my, my fufu. This is my version of homemade fufu, okay? There's the plantain flour that I use, guys, all right? And I made this from scratch, and I think I did a pretty good job. Drop me some comments on that, guys, please. Fufu is similar to cuckoo, which is from the Caribbean. Fufu is similar to... Ugali, which comes from Kenya. Fufu is similar to pap, which comes from South Africa, Johannesburg. So guys, drop me some comments, guys. How did this American woman do making this fufu? Drop me some comments. And look at my veggies right there. That sauteed mushrooms and spinach and carrots with some onions and light seasoning, okay? Little bit, little bit of beans on the side. That's some black beans. Light seasoning also. But the star for today is my homemade fufu. Guys, I hope you like the content. I hope you like my vibe. I hope you like it, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. This is Nala. I'll see you guys in the next video.